Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pact Session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Principle and secret praying in Jesus' name, part nine. Principle and secret praying in Jesus' name, part. Welcome to this online Kingdom of God seminar. Three objectives I would like to share with you. One, prayer is a petition, making a case before a judge. Two, the Lord Jesus Christ, our King. Two, prayer it is a legal activity used in the courts of law as petition. Prayer is not a religious activity. Many believers and many Christians around the world think that it is a religious activity. It is not. Wow. <laughs> Principle, secret, praying in the name of Jesus. The Bible. It's a beautiful, wonderful story. It is about a king. It's to number two. A kingdom. Number three. Children of a king. <laughs> that is wonderful. King. Kingdom. Children of a king. When a king has sons and daughters, it's become royal family holy nation wow i'm excited the kingdom of god is alive in me when you and i offer our petition making our demand in prayer we pray to the authority the lord jesus christ our king based on our legal rights. The Bible is a constitutional book. It's a book of the law. According to the legal law promise covenant that we have as a citizen, a believer, a Christian, a man of God, and children of the King. Now we go to the message already now in progress. Religious leaders, bishops, priests, pastors, deacons, lay ministers, choir singers, church members, those who affiliate with churches, these folk believe in the use of religious phrase, words of action during the time of their religious prayer. Wow. They end their prayer in Jesus' name. Everything they do and every prayer they pray, they end it in Jesus' name. That is a phrase. That is an expression used by priests and religious people, religious pastors. They are misunderstood what is the importance of prayer? They use religious expression in their belief system. What is the true manner, way to pray? Tell me more. What is the true manner, way of prayer? We must understand Jesus Christ is our model. Jesus Christ is our standard. Jesus Christ is our coach. Jesus Christ is our, we imitate 
him. Wow. That we should pray the right, true way of prayer. Write this down, please. Now you have a blank page in your Bible between Matthew and Malachi. You could use that. Or get a clean pad or your iPad and you can start taking notes as you sit in this seminar. This is for learning. This is for wisdom. This is for knowledge. This is for understanding. Wow. One day, you know, the disciples see Jesus done many miracles. They see him raise the dead, Lazarus. They see him feed the 5,000. They see him uh, get money from the fish mouth. They see him curse the, the, the tree, the middle tree. They see many wonderful miracles done by Jesus Christ. But one thing, they ask him, one day, this is coming from Luke 11. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. Wow. Luke 11, 1 NIV. When finished, you know the disciples were very disciplined. They understand that you and when we fall and make a request, they don't interrupt. But when finished or ceased, in other words, one of them, his disciple, said to him, made a statement, Lord. See how they address him? Lord. The word Lord means King. The word Lord mean owner. The word Lord mean master. The word Lord means sir. So the disciple was speaking to the owner. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Lord teach us to pray just as John taught his disciple. You know, in this kingdom of God seminar, it's about Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the disciple received knowledge. Now, understand kingdom theology. This is a kingdom theology. All kingdoms teach their folk. If you go to work for the federal government, or you go to work in the army or the navy, or you go to work in any government operation, any government department, any government administration, you will always be taught how your assignment. They teach and they train their assignment to their employee. Jesus did the same thing. The only person don't teach is your 20 and 21st century church. They don't teach this kingdom theology. Understand the Bible concept, what was in the mind and heart of God. Wow. Now, the prayer that they ask for is the right manner of prayer. It's illegal presenting a case. After this manner, nine words, pray. This Jesus teaching them. Pray in a manner, in a procedure, in a pattern, in a way, in a template. Pray this pattern. Our O oh, you are. Every human on earth, Father, the source of creation. Our Father, not in the United States of America, no way in America, nor in China. Nor in Japan, nor in Spain, nor in Africa, nor in Rome, nor in the Middle East, but in heaven. So remember when you pray and you're making a petition, you'll make it from the seen to the unseen through the Holy Spirit who live in the unseen through the Holy Spirit taking this prayer up into the invisible unseen. Wow, you get that when I leave. <laughs> that is amazing. Father in heaven. Heaven is a country, an invisible country. You send your request in heaven. 
He is every body source of Father in heaven. He is in heaven. Wow, that's amazing. He is not on the earth. He is in heaven. What was Jesus' mind, God mindset? When you come before a king, you present a petition not for you, for others. Bring others with you. The first thing you ask when you go before a king, what's on his mind? This on his mind when you pray, thy kingdom come. The country of heaven come from heaven to earth. Thy will, purpose, intention, plan, be done. That's two, three, in earth. In earth as it is in heaven. I want you to understand this. Everything take place in heaven must take place on earth. So earth need heaven. Now, in democracy we operate, democracy in democratic system, we operate that without heaven. But you need heaven. Wow. Now, 11 verse. Matthew 6, 11. Give us, not you, us, all mankind. Give us this day, daily, our daily bread. Now, what is daily bread? The Father is the source, the sustainer, the provider. He is the provision of our daily bread. We are submitting a request to Abba, our Father in heaven. God is our provision. We understand that He's our provision. As we approach Him, He not just our provision, He's provision for the whole universe, every country. Let us now focus on the kingdom of God. We shift from we shift from our perspective to spiritual perspective. From our physical perspective to spiritual perspective, our prayer should be direct to Him. 12 verse, 9 and 12. And forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debtor. This Kingdom Seminar has been brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center through all the ambassadors in the embassy centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.